Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Travis Flint of Flint Water Wells in Michigan. Brock, I see on social media and some other guys out there, they're running one inch, an inch and a quarter flex hose on a roll to do their development. What do you think about this method over running steel back in the hole like we usually do? Uh, it looks like this could save some time. It definitely saves time. You know, so if we want to save time on development, we have a good fluids program. We know that we're doing a surgical drilling method that's going to take the least amount of solids possible back into that porosity zone. We're not going to have unyielded bentonites. We're not going to do damage. You know, we're, we're drilling a borehole that's, you know, two and a half inches oversized for our grouting and uh, gravel pack, but not bigger so that we can force out and be able to open up those porosity zones that we're shutting off a little bit or that we've damaged. And so now we run in with a, a flexible hose and sure we can get it in and we can, uh, we can move it back and forth and maybe we get back to uh, the GPM we need for this residential home. But the nice thing about having steel is I can move up and down, I can put a development tool on there, I can force into a specific zone, I can, uh, I can concentrate energy to open up those porosity zones. And that's really what's most important to me is being able to get in there, uh, fix any of the damage that I've done, uh, watch it clear up. You know, my father would say the longer it takes to get some of those ultra fines out, the longer the well is going to last. You know, those are the things we think about and we can have a good productive well. And it's, uh, it's just the, it's, it's a harder way of working, but for me, it's the better way. And then if I have to use a surge block or a, a swab, you know, I can get in there and I can isolate, I can run, uh, you know, development fluids in. And uh, I just know that I can move up and down in those zones. I can isolate and I can continue to have that, uh, that strong mechanical method that I like. And sure, we can get some of that out of the hose, but we're just not able to isolate and watch our top head move up and down and you know exactly know what's gonna happen with that zone. It's a great question. Thanks, Travis. Good luck.